This anime continues by showing Kyoka and Yuki fighting against demons. It is seen that they have defeated all the low-level demons. Then Kyoka also praises Yuki's increasingly strong ability and makes Yuki even more enthusiastic. Kyoka rewards Yuki by letting him carry and kiss her. Back at the dormitory, everyone is happy to see Yuki getting stronger, and so Tenka is getting more interested in him. Shushu tells Tenka to go home because she sees Tenka always touching Yuki. Yuki also talks about having an older sister, and everyone starts listening to him. In the past, Yuki was bullied by someone on the street, then his older sister came to help him until his older sister managed to defeat the adult with her ability, and so did Yuki who managed to defeat a kid of his own age thanks to his older sister's training. His older sister was very happy and treated Yuki to ramen. Everyone is happy to hear Yuki's story, and after that, Yuki is told to rest and take a shower while Tenka goes home. Everyone envies Yuki because he has such a great sister, but suddenly, Mei feels someone asking for help. Himari and Shushu immediately rush there, and it is seen that a girl is running from the demons, then Himari manages to defeat all the demons, but suddenly, the girl beats Himari until she falls. It turns out that the girl is a demon named Koko, but Himari manages to block Koko's attack quickly. Koko also summons many demons to beat up the demon hunter, and Himari tries to reconcile to be able to discuss this with her, but Koko refuses. It is seen at the dorm that Yuki is starting to have a good body, and then Kyoka comes there telling Yuki to hurry after Himari and Shushu. Koko manages to block Himari's attack, but Himari changes her weapon, which makes Koko have to avoid it. Shushu also defeats the weak demons, and Himari manages to dodge Koko's attacks. Shushu is also cornered by the arrival of a demon human named Yuno, and then Aoba comes to stop Kyoka. Aoba says to stop, and Yuki suddenly stops, then Kyoka tries to chase them, but all the demon humans suddenly disappear. Himari and Shushu are also confused, and after getting Yuki, they immediately leave. Kyoka tells them to go back to the dormitory to treat their wounds, then Yuki dreams of remembering his sister who mysteriously disappeared. When Yuki wakes up, he is very embarrassed because he is naked and Koko is licking his body. Aoba comes there, and when she sees what happened, she immediately tortures Koko because she thought she had stripped Yuki naked before. Yuno tells her that it was all a misunderstanding and Koko just wanted to treat Yuki's wounds. Aoba is grateful for Koko's kindness, and then Aoba finally meets Yuki again, who thinks Aoba is gone. Aoba tells Yuki to wear clothes and invites Yuki to go around. Yuki is surprised that there is such an amazing place, and it is seen that there are also weak demon humans living there, so Aoba and her friends guard the place. Even though Aoba has become a demon, Aoba's soul is still a human who cares about each other. Aoba invites Yuki to live together there, then Yuki asks the demon humans and the demon defense force to discuss, but Aoba and the others start to get angry when they hear the demon defense force and think they are the enemies. Meanwhile, Shushu is having her hand bandaged by Amari, but they are still worried about Yuki who has disappeared. Nei has also told other squads to look for Yuki. Kyoka also restrains herself in her room and hopes that she has a plan to save Yuki, but suddenly, Kyoka feels Yuki's presence due to her ability. Yuki asks why his older sister realized Yuki had come to the demon city, and it turns out that it was because Aoba felt Yuki's presence, so she immediately looked for him. Aoba is also happy to see Yuki getting more handsome, but suddenly, Yuki's stomach is hungry. Even though Aoba looks grumpy, they really like the kind-hearted Aoba. Koko is seen eating mushrooms that grew there, and Yuki smells the sweet aroma of mushrooms, which suddenly makes his head dizzy. Yuki, who sees Yuno and Koko having bread, immediately grabs it. Aoba is shocked to see his brother's actions, and then Kyoka tells her friends to get ready. Kyoka senses Yuki's presence, and they immediately head there. 
Yuki and Aoba are alone there, and remembering Aoba is like going back to the past. Yuki thought Aoba's ability came from peaches, but instead, their manifestations were the result of eating peaches. Mei tells them to stay in the dormitory, and then Tenka comes with her squad to help Kyoka's squad. They work together to search for Yuki together. Then, this episode ends. Is it interesting enough about this anime storyline? If you're still curious about the continuation of this anime, you can wait for the latest video on our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.